17 years old, came from Vermilion, very excited about getting into radio and television arts, and then see this brand new facility. It was, it was really impressive. It was, it, was, it was exciting. Good evening and welcome to 2855. I'm Daryl McIntyre. And joining me I knew that Nate was the right choice for me the moment I got accepted into the program, to tell you the truth. I think it's the same thing that works with a lot of courses at Nate where you get work with the industry, mentorship through practicums, that kind of thing. So you get real world experience. We have sort of a video record of all of those goofy projects that we worked on together. So I have that to remember. And then plus we did things 24 hours a day, whether we were supposed to or not. So we would actually come in here, we'd hide behind some of the control racks because we needed the editing suite that night. Even though the place was closed down and the, the commissioners didn't want to let us be here, we would actually hide out. So we would get our work done and then we had that camaraderie with each, each other doing things we weren't supposed to, but it was for the better, greater good. Nate prepared me for my first job. Let me get that first job and let me launch myself on, on a road. I think that's what it does with everybody. So it perfectly prepared me for what I needed. I had my uh, three month practicum at the time at uh, CKSA, CITL, radio and television in Lloydminster. And uh, I was unemployed for about a week and that was just over the Christmas holiday and then I got my job in January of uh, 1984. You never leave Nate because people ask where you go to school. Well, I went to Nate. Oh really, who'd you go to school with? Anybody I know? And you can start running through and you tell the stories. Uh, the advisory board keeps bringing me back. You never forget where you went to school, I don't think. And I certainly don't forget where I went. I, I look back and I, and, I, and I smile because I remember those times of learning, of being on those old sets and in the studio and my instructors and my, my fellow students and the people I remember from that. So yeah, I look back at that. I wince a little bit when I see how much hair I did have, but mostly I smile. Oh,